嗱，而家我咧就去咗一個地方叫做 Postal 嘅 museum。咁最特別嘅地方咧，呢、這個地方係原本喺二戰嘅時候咧，就我哋運送誒、呃、郵件嘅。咁啊，當然係秘密啦。如果冇記得轟炸咗啦，咁但係一路都唔開放，冇人知道有誒，好、呃、多人都唔知道啦，或者。誒、呃、有佢哋有個地下嘅系統，就我哋運送郵件嘅。咁呢個地方開咗之後咧，就俾你入去個 train 嗰度，誒睇下當時個 train 係點樣運送嘅。咁都幾特別㗎。咁啊呢個上邊咧就有個地方就誒俾、呃、你賣 souvenir 啦。咁啊 OK 㗎。咁啊而家落樓下。咁啊當然啦，係秘密啦。咁原本原本呢個位我諗係啊啲比較。設住宅區嘅地方，有冇人知道原來下面係有個咁嘅系統嘅喎？嗱，你一齊行。係啊，好得意噶，同埋呢個係二戰解密啊嘛。嗱，呢啲車咧，呢啲車以前就運送油霧嘅。咁啊，一人一個位，一人一個位。我諗我哋要分開兩架車最多。我諗而家唔少啦，真係。咁佢前面一個，知唔知點解啊？我唔知。誒、uh, ，the power， 誒、uh, ，in Canada we using one ten， fifty hertz， but in UK they using two hundred twenty， sixty hertz。So the flip， how many？ Tie five。誒，咩啊 ？Tie five， 但個電電話會自己 adjust 嘅，所以就平時拍出嚟就唔會震嘅，係頭先唔識 adjust 啫。閂曬門之後咧，佢哋就開車噶啦。咁我哋個我哋個距離大概係行幾個 mile 啫，就去另外一個郵局嘅下邊。我哋可以等下一架車坐車頭都得喎。原來唔坐得後面噶，係工作人員坐最後噶。開車啦！係啊！如果即係話你其實你叫咗十點五，所謂你做咗嚟，嗯，佢費事太多人同一時間排隊啫嘛。我哋會 make the next car ready。啊，係啊，應該係啦。你想揀地方坐啊？架车翻嚟啦，应该唔系啊，冇嚟咁快啊
少個綠色㗎。睇個位，我哋如果唔錯唔到嘅就可能下一架。哇！呢啲都有包車。哇！真係好嘢喎，跟架車係包車喎。咁啊，誒，知點解 ？Anyway， 你家先知。喂，真係包車喎！我為大陸先有啲嘢嘅啫。坐唔到紅色衣架添，又要等下一架啦。我俾你包架車景。開車啦！中。Just for delivering post. Now this opened because uh, even in the Victorian period, the traffic in central London was absolutely terrible, and uh, Royal Mail figured out that if they delivered all their letters overground by a horse and carriage or by van. Back in the early 1900s, the average speed they'd be going was about five miles an hour, which you know probably isn't too much different from today. But if they delivered via underground railway line, they could go upwards of 50 miles an hour, so quite a bit faster. And uh, they started building this line in 1915, and uh, the main line ran from Paddington Station, where all the letters would come in via trains from across the country, to all the different sorting offices in London, so Mount Pleasant, Western Sorting Office, Eastern Sorting Office, Liverpool Street. So in total there will be eight stations along the line, and this line was six and a half miles long. So as I said, they started developing this in 1915, and the entire line was all done by hand by 1970. However, unfortunately, due to the fact that this was during the First World War, a lot of the materials they needed were in short supply, so eventually, by 1927, this place opened for the first time and began delivering mail. Now, the original trains would be about this high, and they'd just be completely driverless, and they'd just be basically cages on wheels. And as I said, these trains were driverless, so they were autonomously controlled by a massive switchboard, so it's kind of like a massive model railway here. And as well, these original trains would be powered by the tracks, so they'd have 440 volts of electricity going through them, and the original trains would go up to about 40 miles an hour. You guys will not be going that fast, do not worry. And as I said, these original trains were basically cages on wheels, and they carry bags and sacks of letters. And these trains ran for 22 hours a day, and it, at a station you could expect a train on average every five minutes. So at its peak, it was about 4 million letters a day went through this system in the 50s and 60s. Now, 
you guys are currently in the depot area. This is part of the Mount Pleasant complex. If you guys know anything about the Royal Mail, you probably know about Mount Pleasant sorting office just behind us here, the largest sorting office in London. Now this was the central hub of the line, this was right in the middle, and this is where the largest station would be located, and the depot here, which is the right they do all the repair and maintenance on the train, because if you run a vehicle for 22 hours a day, it's going to break eventually. Now, because the original trains were powered by the tracks, and they have about 440 volts going through them, not very safe if you're an engineer walking around, you probably get quite a nasty shock if you step on a track with 440 volts going through it. So, when the trains came off from the tunnels, they attached these yellow rails on the ceiling. So if you're wondering why they have train tracks on the ceiling, that's why. So someone would stand up on that yellow platform there and they control all the trains. Now, originally, they bought trains in 1927 and uh, typically they found out they didn't work, so they had to buy a new set of trains, very uniquely. But there were about 90 trains in service for the majority of the time period. And obviously it ran for six days a week because the Royal Mail doesn't work on Sunday. And as you guys can probably hear, your train is returning now. These are rich. The original trains are all down in the tunnels and the exhibitions. These trains that you will be getting on are custom made just for us. We have our battery, your driver, they can get people in them. Now, because these trains and tunnels were originally developed just to carry letters, they are not designed with human beings in mind. So the tunnels are pretty small. They're about seven feet at their narrowest. So if you're claustrophobic or afraid of the dark, please do let us know because some people find it a bit uncomfortable down there. And secondly, because the trains are so small, there are certain items you cannot take on board, just for health and safety reasons primarily. So you cannot take any food, you cannot take any walking aids, because you need to walk unaided to get out of the train. And also, most importantly, no bags. Doesn't matter if it's a handbag or a backpack, all bags need to go in this cage here before you get on the train. Alright guys? Alright, enjoy your ride. Okay, let's do 我們可以選後面我們可以這樣做我們可以這樣做後面<笑> 所以他叫我們一人一格 <笑> Wow, 他套系統你聽到他說一幾年已經起好了了 Thank 
you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. 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 Hmm? 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 We ask all passengers to remain seated for the duration of the ride and not to lean on the sides of the train as this may cause it to stop suddenly. Thank you. sold out after England won. There were a few celebrations down here that summer.
In the 50s, air travel became much more common, and so did air mail, and that meant even more of it travelled along mail rail. several times. This station suffered the most damage when it was hit in 1943. Amazingly, the railway was back up and running the very next day. That reflected how vital the railway had become. The tunnel off to the left leads to Liverpool Street Station, where mail was transferred to the main railway network. Further down that tunnel, it looks like a maintenance crew is checking the flood barriers. This side's good. What's that like? Big heavy steel doors that close it off. During the railway's construction, ten men scrambled to safety when the nearby river fleet broke into where they were digging. The barriers here were installed later, after the war, but they'd never had to be used. Uh, Ray, there's something else here that people might be interested in. Can you tell us about that? When we move off just up ahead, look down towards the track. You might catch a glimpse of the train graveyard where disused trains are stored. I must have worked on all of them at some time or other. operational. We could draw power from the next station along to keep everything running. And of course, us guys in the engineering teams always kept the trains and track in good order. Okay, on we go.
Trainloads of mail arrived at every station, every few minutes, with less than 60 seconds to unload and reload. Let's follow a few of those letters. This is the Colonel. He's writing to the famous poet, W.H. Auden, at the GPO Film Unit. This is Kathleen. She's keeping in touch with her sweetheart in the Navy. And this is Mary. Her letter is very special because it's going to a princess. Darling birds, that lady is keeping you away from me for far too long. And everyone says the war's coming. I do hope they're wrong. Dear Mr. Bolton, I think I'm prepared to express my admiration for the work on the recent film about the night of the Christmas.
完了。就快開車啦，咁啊幾特別嘅其實，啊你見到係雙軌嚟噶出嚟啦！哇，其實咧真係好窄，好窄，好窄。頭先連個 camera 本身咧，有時都 focus 唔到，因為太短距離啦。咁啊，但希望啊，大家睇得清楚啦。咁啊，係咁先，我哋要去另外一邊。誒、呃，咁啊，都係呢一個遊牧嘅誒 museum，Postal Museum， 值得嚟噶。